Hey, it's me, Brian, with TeachSelfAwareness.com. Welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna share with you three simple ways that you can overcome difficult emotional and mental situations when dealing with other people. This is gonna be super helpful because it's going to increase the quality of your life and it's going to bring a better sense of wellness and communication control into your day. So, what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about something that we face every single day. That is communication. Communication with people and the world around us. Now, we all know that all throughout the day, we are walking around interacting with information and emotions. Think about it. Whatever information is presented to us, we have an emotional experience with it. We have a feeling from it. We get a vibration when it occurs. For example, you're walking down the street, you're all alone, everything's quiet, and then out of nowhere, a little puppy comes running up. Oh my gosh, look at that puppy, whoa! We get that little burst of sunlight vibrational flow going through us. We get that hap, hap, happy hitting us all through our spine, and it energizes us, it moves us, it reminds us, right? Of joy, of love, of life, of everything great. So we have an emotional response, an emotional reaction, or an emotional relationship with the people and the information that is approaching us throughout the day. If that information is troublesome, right? If that information is ouchy, right? If that information punches us in the face, whoa, 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 what? We are going to have difficulty. So I'm giving you three simple ways, effective ways, easy ways for you to handle those situations. And here they are. So now first, let's say you are in a situation and someone says something you disagree with. Let's say it's a political thing and you have strong views in opposition. You're going to feel something. Urgh. We don't want to react from those feelings of I want to smack you in the face. We don't want to tell them we think they're short-sighted and lost. No, why would we do that? If we go around the world and we smack people in the face, we're going to go to jail, right? <laughs> All right, yeah. If we go around the world and someone says something, a point of view that hits us in such a way that we are gonna start calling them short-sighted losers and this is and that's and really just packing into their consciousness a bunch of negative descriptions, guess what? We're going to create that for ourselves. Why? Because the things we focus on, the things we emotionally embody come reflecting back into our life in different ways. We are creating a reality based on what we are saying and doing and feeling, right? Oh. Absolutely right, Brian. Absolutely right. Test it out. Test it out. What we say and what we feel combine together to make things appear real to our consciousness, our awareness, our spirit. So when we approach someone and they give us information that starts to play on the heartstring, the one that says, oh, I want to punch you in the face, that's the moment to do this first practice and this is it. Mindful, conscious breathing. Look, moving awareness to breathing will move the awareness off of the person who is delivering the information. Awareness to breathing is a unhooking from the person, place, or thing that is initiating the disturbance, delivering the packet of ouch, ouch, right? When we move our awareness to our breathing, and I'm talking about getting involved in the detail of the breath, conscious contact with our breath, all day long you're breathing, why not move your awareness to it? So simple, so effective, so easy. Watch. Taking a deep, deep breath, describing it to myself, holding it in for four or five seconds, I am going to flood my blood with oxygen. I'm going to release endorphins, serotonin, opiate receptors pop open by the time I exhale. <sighs> yeah, clear-headed, wide awake, 
mildly intoxicated, ready to let go of that comment or that negative information or that vibration that was about to set me off, right? Because mindful conscious breathing allows us to just neutralize the emotional power surge enough so that we can be clear headed and store it, store that power, store that in a, in a way of a conscious ability to then decide how we're going to respond to them. Are we going to pack them with retaliation because we are mad at what they said? No, we will if we react, but not if we take a mindful, conscious few breaths, not if we move awareness to breathing, then we will capture all that energy that we were just about to explode with, and then we can redirect it into whatever way we prefer. The ways that we want to see reflected back to us. So when a person, place, or thing says something to you and it hits you in that way that it causes your emotions to rise, just pause, awareness to breathing, focus on your breathing, notice your breathing, exhale, pause, breathe, exhale. As you're doing that, it dials it down. In that stillness, you'll know how to respond in a constructive way. This is all about using our emotional power. This is all about using our ability to describe things, right? It's all about the one vibration, the new vibration, right? The only vibration there is. One energy, one person, you describing things with it. You put the two together. That's what brings reality into focus for us. So the second thing you're getting in this video that you want to do, right? When dealing with difficult people and they're not really difficult, they're just expressing stuff. They are just on love and light. They're just being a creative experience in the world. They're just doing whatever is running through them. They have every right to do that. They are a one of a kind, unique creation of God's ever advancing creation in the world. No one's keeping you from anything. Nobody. It's you. You're the author. You're the one who imagines something and feels it and then responds with it, makes it real through their actions, through their emotions, through their thoughtful descriptions. So the second thing when dealing with difficult people, even though there's no difficult people, is if something hits you that way and it starts to make those oh, vibrations rise up so you're going to retaliate instead, you're going to focus on your breathing with step one. You're going to get calm. That's great. Then what are you going to do? Simple, simple. You're going to look for something to say to them. Look for a way to respond to them that pulls out the stuff you want to keep. So if somebody came up to me and they were like, blah, 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 big old negative point of view, I might say like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you are so descriptive in your opinion. Descriptions are an awesome thing. I want to keep descriptions in my life. So I'm pulling it out of their comment. Oh my gosh, you feel strongly about that. You have strong feelings about that point of view, I might say. I might respond by saying, why? Because if I tell them that, if I reflect that, then I get to keep having strong feelings, having strong power, having strong vibration that I attach to my points of view, right? Because I know I'm going to pick points of view that I want to keep. Awesome ones. I'm doing it right now. That's why I'm making the video. One of the benefits of making these videos is we keep everything we share with the world. Everything that burns through our consciousness, everything that gets said and felt, moves through the embodiment, becomes who we are in the moment, perpetuates us, propels us forward in new and exciting ways or in crummy and crappy ways. If we get on board of the dark train and we start telling ourselves some scary crap, crap, oh, everybody's against me, oh, no. For you know it, everyone will seem to be that way. Don't tell yourself stories that suck. Find a happy story and ride the wave of vibration along with it, with descriptions and words and images and feelings, right? So what? The first thing you do when you feel the strong emotions is pause, breathe, pause, mindful, conscious, breathe. Awareness to breathing neutralizes it. The second thing that you do dealing with difficult people is, and they're no difficult people, they're just being themselves. They have every right to be. Don't you want to be yourself too? Of course you do. So create a space to let them be it as well. That second part is just draw out of their 
expressions, the things you want to keep. If someone gives you the, you know, finger, you can be like, oh, ow, let me breathe that through. Oh, oh, you're so awesome. You express yourself with your hands. Oh my God, somebody else does that. Who wants to do that? Me, this guy, me, 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 me. Whoa, 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 what, what? Draw out the thing you want to keep from the stuff around you. Let the garbage go. Doesn't matter anymore. Doesn't matter. You're the author. You're the creator. You're the captain of your mind hardship or your hardship. If you start thinking terrible things and then believing them, feeling them, acting on them, spreading them, spreading them. Yeah, don't do that. Spread good stuff for the world. So the third thing that you can do when dealing with seemingly difficult people, which there aren't any, all we're really saying is when emotions run high, when information seems to hit you in such a way that you feel like you're gonna react, awareness to breathing, you draw out of their information, the things you wanna reflect back to keep. And then the third thing that you can do is know the truth about who you really are. Who are you? I'll tell you, you're just another one of us, meaning that you are a self and an awareness combined, a self-conscious being, a self and a spirit, a spirit waking up, wake up to the spiritual identity, spiritual awakening, a spirit and an ego, a spirit and a set of data called you combined. So go out and reprogram yourself. You're doing it all day long anyway, right? Doing it all, all day long anyway. So, Whoa, 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 what? This video is what it is and that's what it's going to be. So take out of it what you can use. And I know you can see so clearly. I know you're people who want good things. You want, your hearts are real. Your minds are real. Your, your spirit is a real thing. If you haven't woken up spiritually yet, meaning if you don't feel like you identify more as your consciousness and your awareness than you do as your limited changing self, your body, your past, your name, where you were born. No, we got to get up and out of that where we really live, the imagination space, the consciousness, the spirit, the you of you. When we identify as that, we get freedom from the world. We get freedom from ourselves. We get to employ ourselves to do good things in the world. And it's just spectacular. So enjoy your day. Enjoy living your life in this crazy world of what? Enjoy living on the one vibrational energy that's moving through everything. Enjoy using your words and your descriptions to describe the good things you want to see reflected in your life. Enjoy your awareness.